Hello, my dear Code Adventurers! Today, we dive into an epic adventure at the heart of Rent P, the magical tool for creating your own visual novels. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of captivating characters and enchanting scenarios? Then let's embark on this extraordinary journey. We're going to explore how to bring a carousel of characters to life using Python and Rent P. We'll follow a structured path defining characters, navigating the carousel, interacting with interface elements, and finally, add a little stories of our heroes. Each step is a piece of the puzzle to build your own narrative universe. And don't forget adventures, the complete source code for this tutorial is available for free on the Events Quest Agile page. Before we dive into our adventure, feel free to ask questions, suggest tutorial ideas, or just chat with me. It's going to be super exciting. I can't wait to share this experience with you and see what we'll create together. Well, without further ado, let's embark on this coding adventure. May your stories come to life and your creativity flourish. Let's do it! Preparations for complete adventures. The assets are carefully placed in the image folder of our project. Like maps and provisions arranged before a great journey, everything is set for our quest of creation. And now, let the real journey begin. Prepare your coding tools and sharpen your creative mind. Forward for this coding adventure. Imagine a dictionary like a secret library. Each book or character has its own magical label, the key revealing its hidden mysteries, the values. It's our treasure chest of Dea. Each of Lyra's properties like idle underscore image or hover underscore image is like a gadget in a spine movie. They give us visual clues about her state ready for action or just waiting. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And the Muk True is our master key. It means Lyra's story is open to everyone, like an adventure book you can't put down. Look at Emma. With her unlocked falls, she's our riddle to solve. Just like in a video game, quests must be completed to uncover her story. Each key and value are pieces of a puzzle. By putting it all together, we create a scene where each character has their own role to play. 
The true power of this code, my friends, lies in its simplicity and flexibility. Like ancient rules, each line opens a world of possibilities. Here we stand before a strategic decision. Default character underscore index equals zero. It means our adventure starts with the very first hero in the gallery. Like the opening chapter of a captivating book. Okay. is set with screen character underscore selection and our background background.png is like the decor of our journey inviting our characters to step onto the stage Let's observe the left navigation button. This sign of Ko, if character underscore index is greater than zero, is a simple yet powerful instruction. It means the button will only appear if we are not on the first character. In other words, as long as our character index is greater than zero, there are other characters before this one to explore. It's like having the ability to step back in our interactive storybook. <laughs> Here's our trusty image button. With idle images slash arrow on the score left dot png and hover images slash arrow on the score left on the score hover dot png. Changes appearance when approached, like a treasure shining brightly when we get close. The magic is in the action, my friends. Set variable character underscore index. Character underscore index minus one is a spell that takes us back to the previous adventure. It's a journey through time, one click at a time. And don't underestimate the power of alignment with Hexaline 0.0 and Yaline 0.5. It places our mystical button on the left, amid height, like a secret door in an ancient castle. This line is crucial. This characters.items turns our dictionary of characters into a list of key value pairs. Each pair contains the idea of a character, char underscore ID, and their information, char underscore info. Imagine this like an enchanted directory. Each page reveals the name of a character and all their secrets. By selecting the page with character underscore index, we find exactly who and what to display. What the f this shit?
Here, we decide which image of our character to display. If the character is unlocked, their default image, referred to as idle underscore image, is shown. Otherwise, the locked image is displayed, keeping their stories as a well-guarded secret. This is our artistic touch. If the character is accessible, hover underscore image sheds a surprise effect when hovered over. Otherwise, we stick to the classic image. It's like adding a special effect to an already magnificent scene. And here's our final spell. If the character is unlocked, jump char underscore info story underscore label transports us directly into their story. If not, nothing happens. It's our magical portal. Open or close depending on the journey we've taken in the game. Wow! Now here is our enchanted image button. With idle images slash plus image to display and hover images slash plus hover on the score image, it changes as if by magic inviting players to interact. It's our gateway to the stories positioned at the center of the stage. Majestic and inviting. The perfect alignment. X align 0.5 and Y align 1.0 positions our button right at the heart of the action, at the bottom of our screen stage like the main star under the spotlights.
This condition of character underscore indexes less than main characters minus one is our guy. It checks if there are still characters to discover. Simply put, it prevents the appearance of the right arrow if you're on the last character in the carousel. It's like saying stop, there are no more stories to tell you. The logic behind Len characters minus what is simple yet clever. It calculates the total number of characters and subtracts one. Because we start counting from zero. It's our way of knowing when we've reached the last character and it's time to stop. I'm serious. Our image button for the right with its idol and hover states is an invitation to explore. Like in a captivating novel, it urges us to turn the page to discover what awaits us. The action set variable character underscore index. Character underscore index plus one is crucial. It increments the character index by one moving us to the next character in our list. It's our way of navigating the story, from one character to another, uncovering their tales one by one. In other contexts, this approach would be used to browse through image galleries, book chapters, or even steps in a tutorial. And for alignment, X align 1.0 and Y align 0.5 position our button perfectly. It's located at the far right, at mid height, like a constant guide showing us the way forward. It's like having a reliable compass on an epic journey. Here we are faced with a strategic choice, the exit button. The frame is half frame, positioned with X align 1.0 and Y align 0.0. This places our button in the top right corner, somewhat like the exit door of a mysterious labyrinth. This position is intuitive. In many games and applications, the top right corner is often where we look to exit or close. It has almost become a universal language in interface design. And here's our alluring image button to quit. With idle images slash quit underscore idle dot png and hover images slash quit underscore hover dot png. It tempts players with one last visual flirtation before saying goodbye. It's like that final, lingering glance at the end of a romantic date, promising future encounters. The action main menu is our portal back. I click here and we're taken back to the main screen. It's like a homecoming spout bringing us back safely after a long adventure. Let's not forget the alignment with X align 1.0 and Y align 0.5 for our button. It's placed to be easily accessible, yet not so close to the center of action as to be accidentally activated. It's the perfect balance between accessibility and discretion.
it's amazing. That tastes really good. The start label is our gateway into this fantastic world. The line demo select character and story. Click to continue is our invitation to players. Like a narrator inviting us to dive into an enthralling story. Call screen character on the score selection is like opening a magical book. It triggers the display of our character selection screen, where our real adventure begins. It's a different kind of hurt. So, dear friends, let's enter the magical world of Renfrew Dictionaries with our mysterious formula. Dollars characters Amy Amok equals Drew. Imagine each character in our game is a treasure chest, and characters is the map listing them all. The deceptive brackets, my dears, are like unlocking the secret locks. The first one, Amy, leads us straight to Amy's treasure. It's like whispering her name to unveil her secrets. Are you sure about that? And the second bracket, unlocked, tells us a specific aspect of Imi, her lock status. By setting it to true, we change her status from inaccessible to ready for adventure. It's our way of seeing the gates to Imi's story are now open. It's like an inner PG where you gain a key after completing the quest. This key grants access to a new area. Here, by changing the value of unlock, we open new zones in our game, allowing players to experience new adventures. The line unlock in a story is like a comment for developers, indicating what's happening in the game at that moment. And then, Jumpstart takes us back to the beginning, ready to explore the new horizon that unfolds. Anime underscore story. The message thank you so much for watching and for your support is a personal touch, expressing our gratitude towards the players. It's like a thank you note at the end of a wonderful show. Just like in the previous label, the jump start at the end of Emmy on the score story takes us back to the starting point. It's our way of closing the loop, offering players the chance to relive the adventure with Emmy or embark on new explorations. Each end is a new beginning, much like the seasons of a TV series when each season finally sets the stage for the next. Thank you for joining.
enjoying our epic adventure in the world of Renpy? Dear Goat Adventurers, If you enjoyed this journey, don't hesitate to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's totally free and helps us a lot. And to not miss any of our future quests, follow us on Twitter and other social media. Our adventures are just beginning, and you wouldn't want to miss what comes next. If you have any questions or wish to share your own stories, feel free to leave us a comment. We love hearing about your experiences and helping you in your own quest to creation. Thank you for staying with us until the end of this quest. The journey ends here but many more adventures await you. So, stay tuned, continue coning and creating, and see you soon for new captivating experiences.